Hello and welcome to New Junction. A rather special episode today because it feels like real progress. We finally have the backboards up on the station side of the layout. And as you can see they go the whole way down and they uh, just cap this scenic side off nicely. So, how were they made? So I've used uh, 12 by 32 mil timbers. Um, I'm going to try and get these as close to the board break as possible to give me as much space. And then uh, for the backboards themselves, I've got this 5.5 mil plywood, which was left over from the other half of the other side of the layout's uh, back scenes. Uh, perfectly adequate to hold a background up. Once they're uh, attached, so they're screwed straight down vertical because I need the room. Um, I've also used some offcuts to come from my uh, loft struts which will be used as back supports to uh, hold the plywood up. Um, it's perfectly fine, strong enough. As you see here, it's quite neat really. Um, and although it looks tall, I can actually reach behind them. They're only 12 inches. For the sides, particularly this side, I've used some of the struts screwed straight down this will just give me something to screw the uh, back scene into um, and again makes it nice and strong and of course then I cut uh, a slot out for the uh, trains to come through and it just tidies it up very nicely especially in this corner staying on the right hand side for a moment um, what I decided to do was rather than have a sort of raised scenic area above all my point work because it was Ooh, ever so slightly complicated um, and I'm not going to use point motors I decided just to cap the scene off with a, a vertical board um, to be fair now it's here um, it does neaten up the new station side while giving me full access to all my points and letting me keep my mess somewhere um, and even though it's uh, standalone it is absolutely solid that's not going anywhere but I mean this is exactly what we needed, just a nice scenic end to this side and we'll uh, build off that. You join me behind the uh, new boards now and I'm sure uh, a hot comment for this video will be how do you get to the trains behind the boards should there be an issue. Now the boards are 12 inches tall um, and I'm I will be using the, the, the behind the scenes for running, or some running, but the main aim is storage. Um, and because they're only 12 inches tall and the board's well, two foot front to back, I can quite happily uh, reach across, you see. And there we go. Easy peasy. Should I need to grab anything? Going over to the left hand side, the station side, I had to be far more creative with the uh, the way the boards work. So what I've ended up with, um, because this is not only a scene break for the scenic side, but it's also an entry point for the rear storage, what I've had to do is, uh, when I put the boards in, literally leave the bottom half open, which eventually will be covered with um, scenery. The main aim is obviously the station will be the station, and the, uh, the rail, the lines that go behind the scenes will hopefully be disguised and you won't see them from the scenic area but uh, as with the other side it's been uh, left open so that uh, I can use that area as storage eventually it will have laid track so I can store sort of small DMUs or engines things like that there without having to keep taking them on and off um, and gives me full access to all the points um, that I can do by hand when and uh, where I need to. So all in all I'm uh, chuffed to bits with these. Um, it's taken a, a, a long afternoon to uh, to do these but uh, well worth it and now uh, the sort of scene feels ready to start because you've got a sort of neat background. Um, the boards in the end were cut with a Stanley knife, these big ones, and then the just used a jigsaw for the, the timbers 
well they could do it with a hacksaw to be honest it's super simple um, what will happen next on the layout I'll paint the baseboards brown um, just as an undercoat and then once the paint general paint is on the back scene will go on which will probably be uh, just a generic sky um, I'm not a hundred percent yet if a, uh, a nicer one comes up um, then I'll probably use that but uh, no it's quite a nice um, quite a nice uh, task to be done um, and I'm definitely done with woodwork for a while <laughs> it's been uh, a fun fun Christmas this year it just seems to be uh, uh, all I've done is woodwork but uh, no definitely worth it and it gives me a good a good foundation to uh, to grow on and we'll see how it goes so for now a very simple uh, a simple update for you I'm gonna get some trains running because it's been far too long um, and we're gonna enjoy them going round the new uh, the new sealed off section but as ever thank you for watching take care